What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this amazing looking solar analysis diagram in Revit. So I'm going to be starting off with just a simple line work that kind of represents our site. Then we're going to be modeling that site in 3D. I'm going to be showing you how to create this. Moving on, we're going to be adding just some buildings to create something that uh, looks like this. And this is like the, the blue one is our actual building. Then we're going to be uh, kind of doing some materials and setting everything up in a way that it should be set up. Moving on, we're going to be creating this solar analysis diagram, setting everything in place so it looks nice. And after that, we're going to be rendering it and then uh, doing some post-production in Photoshop to make it look like this. So that's what we're going to be doing in this uh, quick uh, tutorial. Now, before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make Revit tutorials every week, like three tutorials each week. And if you want to download the project files so you can follow along, or if you want to get access to all of my Revit project files, check out my Patreon first link in the description. Also there, you will be able to find some of my advanced Revit courses. I've got like 10 so far, so uh, check that out. They're all like our long and I cover some really interesting topics. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get into this uh, quick course. Now I'm just starting off with these lines. I'm guessing you know how to do these lines. If not, you just go here to annotate, find your detail lines, and yeah, then you just do lines. So that's basically how I created this. This is uh, just the site on which I want to place my buildings. Now, if we go into 3D, you're going to notice that it's empty. That's because we don't really have anything in 3D. So now first I'm going to be showing you how to create this site. So what I'm going to be doing is uh, just go here to architecture. You have your component tool and just open up the drop menu and go to model in place so we can create our site. Now I'm going to scroll down and here for category, this is basically going to be a family. I'm just going to use generic models. So let's just check that. Okay. So for now, let's go here with the extrusion first. So I'm going to go with that and then you can use pick lines and just do the outer lines of this site. So just go like this. So do the outer lines, hit finish. And now for setting up the extrusion start and end, uh, for the end, I'm going to go with 0.2 or maybe let's go with zero. Yeah, let's go with zero for end and for start, let's go with minus five. Uh, now this is in millimeters, so I'm just going to go with minus 5,000, but I should probably switch this to centimeters or meters. So I'm just going to type in UN for units. Okay, so it is in meters. Yeah, then I messed up. This is way too large. Okay, so just do minus five then. Yeah, I thought it was in millimeters. But anyway, let's go back into level one. And now we need to create some sort of a void that's going to be cutting into these roads. So just go to create tab, go to void forms, go with void extrusion, and then just use the pick lines tool. So just go like this. You hover over one of the lines, you hit tab key, and that it allows you to select like the whole loop. Same thing here. Now here it might not work at some places. So you have to go kind of individually, each one. So yeah, this works. Let's pick that line as well. This line, this, okay, this can work. Now here I've got the double lines. Okay, so let's do this one, this thing. So I'm just hitting the tab key, which is allowing me to select the whole thing. Okay, so we just need to cap these off. So here I'm just going to go with trim and extend and here just go with regular lines like that. So close each part off just like that, close this off, this, this as well, and this as well. Okay, so we have this basically the roads, and I'm just going to go into 3D, hit finish, okay, here we have an issue, yeah. So once we fix that up, let's go with finish, and there we go, so we've got our void. I'm just going to reverse it, so the extrusion end is going to be at zero, and start at minus 0.2 meters, so it's going to look like this, and as you can see, it's cutting into the ground. So that's what I want to have. 
So once we have this terrain, now we can start playing around with buildings. So for buildings, you can just go back to your floor plan and then you just go to create tab, extrusion, and you start off from here. Now I usually like to use rectangles, so maybe do something like this. Then I'm just playing around with shapes. So I'm not being overly precise for this. Usually you would probably be looking at some sort of a map that's showing you your surroundings and then you're using that as your kind of as a guide to do whatever you're doing. So basically for these buildings like this, what you need to do is let me just do that a bit quicker, uh, a bit different. So you do the outer line, then you go with regular lines. So you maybe do something like this. Then you can select these, go into DM for draw mirror. So just type in DM, flip it to the other side, then go with SL for split lines. So you split these, then you go with TR for trim and extend. So you trim and extend. So you can create shapes like this. Also, you can add onto this. So if I hit finish for these two, go here, maybe extrude them a little bit. Maybe I don't want this whole thing to be this high, so maybe this bridge I want to make smaller, so I can go to Create tab, go with Void Forms, Void Extrusion, set the work plane, go pick a plane, and then let's pick the top plane, and then we can do something like this, hit Finish, extrude it a bit downward, so you get something that looks like that, maybe not that much. So you get the point, you're playing around like this with these forms, and that's going to allow you to create your, uh, your whole, all of your buildings. Now, once you finish that, you're going to have all of the buildings like this. Now let's play around with the materials a little bit. So what I'm going to do first is just select everything, then go here into filter because you want to select only the models, not the voids. So just uncheck the voids, hit apply, okay, and now you can change the material. So I'm going to go here to the properties panel, find uh, materials and finishes, go to materials, and here let's edit this. So I'm going to search for something white, let me go with paper. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go with paper. This is looking like a paper model, so I'm just going to go with that. But I want to emphasize the the building that I'm actually kind of analysis uh, doing analysis for. So I'm going to hover over this building, hit tab once to select the whole form, and then here I'm going to go with the material, and let me go with mass. And here, yeah, we have this default mass zone and it's actually some sort of a transparent material and I really like it. It kind of emphasizes both the building that it's it's the point of this whole model, but also it's kind of transparent so it looks like it hasn't been built yet. So I like that kind of that effect. So let's use that thing. So I'm going to use that for the material. Now I want to do a different material for the road, but if I go and change this whole thing, it's going to change both the color of the road as well as this kind of pavement and the rest of it. And that's not something I like. So what I'm going to be doing actually is just go here to the Modify tab, find the Paint tool, and then just search for a material to paint with. Now, if you don't have some of the materials you want to use, for example, for this one, I want to use asphalt. So let's see, can I find it? Now I can only find this asphalt uh, uh, sh shingle and that's not what I want to use. So I'm going to exit out of this, go back to the Manage tab, go to Materials, and then here search for asphalt. And here we have asphalt pavement, load that in and here just for the appearance I'm going to fade it just a little bit so it appears a bit grayer. I just prefer that look. And now go back to your modified uh, modify tab, go to paint, and here find that asphalt payment, select it, and then just go ahead here and click here. And there we go, now we have that, uh, that asphalt color. Now I'm also going to do that same color here, just to have that kind of the, uh, the cut side in a different color. Now here I messed up, so let's go back, let's go back to paint. So this side, and let's do the all of the other sides. Okay, once we have that, 
let's just cancel out of here and I also want to do some grass materials now here I want to do a grass material over here but if I were to go to paint and then select this as you can see it would color the whole thing I only want to have kind of a glass uh, a grass uh, field over here in front of my building so I'm going to go back and now let's do something else let's split this face so we can only paint this part over here so for that just go over here to split face select it select the face let's see there we go go with the rectangle and then we can do a rectangle like this hit finish now go to paint but before that let's load in some grass material so go first to manage materials let's search for grass now I really prefer this plant material so I'm going to load that one in hit apply OK and now go back to modify go to paint go to grass plant and hit here okay there we go looks nice already now you can do that you can play around a bit more so you can go here split face again maybe do one grassy field over here to finish material oops not there there we go oops let's go with the paint tool I keep missing that surface okay there we go go done there we go so we've got these two kind of grassy uh, fields so I'm really happy with the way this turned out so now let's continue doing the actual Sun analysis so just go finish model and one thing that I really don't like over here is the fact that it, here we have these we have our levels and they we don't really want to have them so what I'm going to do is just go to VG for visibility graphics go to annotations find levels here we go and just uncheck them hit apply OK and there we go no more levels so I'm really happy with this now so let's turn on the Sun analysis so I'm just going to go here to Sun and go Sun path on I'm going to use the current settings and there we go now you can play around with your Sun and set it up in a correct way the good thing is we have this whole kind of uh, just a north direction uh, with a whole circle and then we can see our Sun with the Sun path now what they don't like is the fact that this is a bit larger than my model I would I would prefer to have it a bit smaller so I'm ju just going to change here in the properties panel when this Sun uh, kind of Sun path is on I'll just go here to Sun path size and change it to something a bit more appropriate yeah I really like this thing so now I can select the whole thing and maybe just move it a bit so it looks more centered kind of like that okay I really like this now okay so we have something that looks like this and I'm really happy with the way it looks and it's also can drop showing the shadow the shading also I'm just going to make a bit more changes maybe go here with ambient shadows hit apply okay yeah looks even better but uh, this look I don't really prefer this look I I really like the rendered look now if I go and render it and before we do that let's add a crop window crop view hit apply and let's crop it to something a bit more presentable something like this there we go so this looks already a lot better so let's say we want to render it kind of like this and if I start the render dialog so just hit double R for the render dialog and let's go with medium here for the size yeah it's way too large so as you can see here it says like it's a meter by meter size so that's too much so just go over here and change the scale to 1 to 200 and then when you go to double R for render and here set this to medium now as you can see it's a lot smaller you can make it even smaller but you don't have to just drop the pixels down okay so now if I just try rendering let's go with the draft just to show you the the problem with this so if I go here with a draft rendering as you can see I don't really see my Sun analysis so what I'm going to do is just make a change over here let's change this to color and color white 
So what I'm going to do is just render it like this and then I'm going to ren uh, export my sun analysis only and then I'm going to bring both the rendering and the sun analysis diagram together in Photoshop. So let's go here, set this to medium. Let's render this at a bit higher quality right now. And as you can see, we have that white background so it looks even better. So I really like the look of this now. So let it just finish rendering and then here we can maybe just do some adjustments to exposure just a little bit brighter yeah I, I really like this look so let's export it i'm going to be saving this to my desktop just for simplicity purposes and let's call it 3d hit ok usually you would probably have a folder or something but anyway let's exit out of this now and now what i'm going to do is just select the whole model go here into temporary hide isolate and hide the model i'm only interested in the uh, sun analysis diagram now go here to file export scroll down and find your images and animations go to image make sure that you set this to be at your desktop or wherever you saved the other file go here instead of fit to go to zoom to 100 percent and let's do it at 150 hit ok and now it should save that now once this image is saved we can minimize revit and here we have both of them so we have this one and we have our 3d file so i'm just going to go to the 3d go open with and i'm going to go with photoshop so just wait for a second for photoshop to start up come on here we have it. Okay, here's our model. I'm just going to uh, kind of zoom out a bit, move that out of the way. Let's transfer my sun analysis. Now, for some reason, it kind of stretched it, but that doesn't matter. We're going to stretch it here. There we go. Hit finish. Now, to overlay these two, just select the layer with solar analysis. Go over here for the layer settings and go to multiply. There we go. Now we can play around with this layer, maybe position it like this. You can always uh, uh, click Control T and then I uh, can uh, resize it a bit. So there we go. Finish the positioning. Yeah, so we really like this. Now the problem with this, I don't really see the sun path and I have all of these ugly numbers that I want to get rid of. So I'm just going to go here to the eraser tool and just click once and when you hit ok it's going to allow you to delete elements here so i'm just going to set the hardness to 100 and this at 60 pixels so let's just get rid of this ugly text that we have over here just like that now maybe i messed it up here a bit now you might notice that i kind of went through the sun path a little bit but don't worry the sun path is not really that visible and that's what I don't like about this so what we can do is create a new one so just go here to the pen tool and make sure that here the shape is selected not path shape the fill should be at nothing stroke should be at whatever color you want and I'm just going to go with three pixels so you just zoom in over here and you just follow the path so you just do one click then you do kind of a click and drag to get these points. That's what's going to allow for this line to kind of curve across just like that. One over here, maybe one point there, one point like this, and then here another point. So there we go. This looks a lot better. Now when you deselect the layer, it's going to just appear as yellow. Also for the sun, you can kind of play around with that as well. You can go maybe with a brush, select the color, maybe make it bigger. Oops, that's too big. Yeah, let's do a bit more orangey color. Kind of like that and make it a bit smaller. Yeah, we can go like that. Also, then you can maybe add some glow. So maybe just go with a larger size with a zero hardness with a bit lighter color. Just like that. So there we go. We've got our sun. We've got our sun path. And also we've got the whole 
a city rendering. Also, maybe here I uh, can divide this path. So I'm going to go to this shape, go to eraser, don't worry. And then let's, yeah, let's eliminate the path here like that. Okay, so that looks really cool. And maybe you can add some text here. I don't know. Let's change this to something like this. Like that. And there you go. So you've got your sun analysis diagram using Revit and Photoshop in conjunction. So there we go. That's today's tutorial. I hope you have learned some, how to create something really cool and really quickly. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to download all of the project files, check out my Patreon. If you want access to all of my advanced courses, again, as I said, Patreon, first link in the description. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.